Okay, so today we're going to install a Windows 98 virtual machine. So I already have Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager open. So the first thing we're going to need to do is download the Windows 98 ISO file. So I'm just going to search here for Windows 98 ISO download. This is the one I picked here from archive.org and I just click this ISO image download right here. I already downloaded it just to save some time but that's where you would go to to grab the ISO download. So back over here in Oracle Box we're gonna click new we're gonna call it Windows 98 test and you can see it already pre-selected Windows 98 here so we'll click next yeah we'll give it 64 megabytes of RAM that should be good Yep, we'll create the virtual hard disk. Yep, we'll leave it like that. Dynamically allocated. And yeah, we'll leave it at 2 gigabytes. That should be plenty for what we're doing. So it looks like it just got created. So we'll, we'll just double check the settings here. That looks good. We'll give it... Maybe it doesn't want two CPUs. Alright, we'll leave it at one. That looks good. Okay, here we'll have to navigate to the to the uh, ISO file. So we'll choose disk file, Windows 98 second edition ISO. That's the one we downloaded, so that'll be good. Click OK and hit start. So here it wants us to select a boot disk. So we're gonna boot from CD-ROM. Start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. And yep, it's going. Configure unallocated disk space. Yep. We'll enable large disk support. Okay, looks like we're good to go. It's going through and formatting the C drive. That was quick. It's going through and doing a check disk. Oh, there we go. Mouse sensitivity is a bit nuts. I'll have to change that later. We'll click continue. Okay, you want to set it up in C drive. Click next. It's amazing how fast this thing installs. We'll just we'll leave it as typical for now. Click next. Yeah, install the most common components. We'll click next. Computer name. We'll just call it com dash. If I can type com dash test. Yep, United States, and we'll click next. All right, so we'll sit here and install. I'll pick the video back up whenever it's done. All right, so the install got finished. So here it wants us to create a user account. We'll call it Contact Engineer. And we'll just put testing for the company. I accept. Okay, so once a product key, we'll go back over here.
Looks like this. We'll, we'll try this product here and see if it works. If it let me copy and paste it in here. Oh, I guess not. Let me go ahead and manually type this in here. Okay, so we got this typed in here. So let's go ahead and hit click next, see if it takes it. Oh, looks like it's good. Let's click finish. And it looks like it's setting up hardware. Okay, it looks like it's loading drivers. I'll pause the video here and we'll pick it back up later. Alright, the driver's finished updating, so let's pick the date here. Looks like I already picked it up from my host machine, so... Uh, we'll click that for that will be fine. All right, we'll click apply. And okay. All right, so that's done. So let's do the first clean boot up of this Windows 98 virtual machine. And so since it's installed, we're going to boot right from the the hard disk. So we'll type in our password there. And this hilarious thing pops up. <laughs> and yep, it looks like it's uh, it's working. So we'll go ahead and close that. Okay, so it looks like the install is good. Let's check here. Yep, everything looks good. Go to the control panel. Yeah, I think we're good to go. So my plan is to use this Windows 98 machine to start playing some older, older video games, maybe Doom or something like that. But uh, until then, we should be all set. Thanks for watching.